Due to the upsurge of COVID-19 in Uganda, police is reinforcing its operations, targeting rules falters. The emphasis is more on border border riders who facilitate disobedience. I think they are untouchable, the border borders, where if they try to stop him, they can even knock you. So our emphasis was also to concentrate on them. This is not a lie. We zeroed on them because we wanted to inform them that they are not untouchable. They can also follow the rules like the rest you do. The second wave of COVID-19 is attributed to the public not following guidelines, more so in places of congregations. Back to the old normal, where you can witness people having large weddings, wedding parties. We are witnessing large congregations in worship centers, at sporting events, marking marketplaces, arcades. Over the weekend, police managed to arrest 2,000. 124 suspects, 445 vehicles, and 2,088 motorcycles impounded during curfew time. Right now, all these are going to court. And then for the motor vehicles, as well as the uh, motorcycles, uh, they are going to uh, be served with EPS uh, fines and tickets. Meanwhile, on Matters Day, Foreign trekkers will not be allowed to mark the day at Namgongo. The event will be held scientific and only accessed by 200 invited guests. Now even if the celebrations are low-key and with no specific threats uh, directed towards uh, the scientific religious festivity, the joint security teams have secured the event with a mix of uh, our usual overt, covert and surveillance teams deployed uh, in and around uh, uh, the venue. In another development, police has released the last payment of the 50,000 special police constables who supported its operations during the recent general elections. These have been directed to return all the police belongings. So they should therefore cross-check with their respective districts and divisions and those still in possession of government stores like uniforms and gumboots, cartoons, should hand them over. However, a limited number of these SPCs are to be retained for three months in some commanding regions. They protected several voters and enabled them to express uh, their voices. So they should therefore cross-check with their respective districts and divisions Police has also cautioned the public to be vigilant on the increased threat of motor vehicles and blocking off of number plates. This practice has been common on Kampala Mitiana Road and so far for have been arrested. Lydia Chomkama, UBC News.